Hey girl, welcome to this quick bonus episode. I wanted to jump on here and say thank you to everyone for making this two-day workshop amazing and special. Thank you to the women who messaged me and just were saying how amazing this was, how it really helped them. I just want you to know that I appreciate you. I appreciate you hanging out with me. You know, the free for Mind Junk workshop was really for the mujer who desires to believe in herself and to really be free to finally pursue her dreams and what's been placed on her heart. I talked about how to be the confident woman, how to give yourself permission to be the confident woman so you can step into your boldness and begin pursuing your dreams, right? That thing that you're so passionate about. And You know, I also talked about really understanding the lies and the limiting beliefs and how you can begin to become empowered so that you can give yourself permission to step into everything that you've been created for without worrying about what anyone thinks and without having to wait for anyone to validate you. So let me just give a quick shout out to all the ladies who messaged me and also congratulate the winner of the prize for today. There is still going to be a winner of the Fearless Mujer swag bag, which I will announce on the 14th. But today, Nadine Steichlin. I hope I said that correctly. Girl, you just want a fearless mug. Message me, DM me, let me know where to send your prize to. So thank you so much, girl. Now, today you're going to be able to hear some of the workshop that happened today on day two. And guess what? You guys, I'm so excited because starting today, Enrollment is open for you to come be part of the Fearless Mujer six-week mastermind. It is also called Free From Mind Junk, right? So that you could be free to believe in yourself and to really step into everything that you have been called to do. So this six-week mastermind is a unique mastermind where you will be encouraged, affirmed, and supported every step of the way. It's a space for you to connect with like-minded women without judgment. You will be mentored with authenticity and compassion, and it starts on May 24th. It ends on July 2nd, and enrollment starts today. Today, May 13th until May 17th, you can go ahead and get registered. What you'll do is go to fearlessmujer.com, go to Fearless Mujer Mastermind, and what you're going to do is schedule a cafecito call with me because, girl, I know that you have questions. I know that you want to know all the 411, and I'm here to answer those questions for you. So go ahead, and if, if you feel like, man, I need this. I want to be part of this. Like, you know that, yes, you get me. Mikaela gets me. I need the mentoring. I need this. Don't wait, girl, because this is only open to eight women. I do that exclusively because I want it to be an intimate space. And it's got to be a space where you're safe, right? Where you can get that focused attention. So, That's why I only open it up to eight women. I've been having a lot of people message me and ask me about it. So don't wait. If you've asked yourself, why am I really here? You feel like you were made for more, but you don't have clarity about what the direction is that you need to go in. And you've been struggling with all the things. You don't feel satisfied no matter what you're doing. You read the empowering books and you listen to the motivational speakers, but you're still feeling stuck then girl, I invite you to come be a part of this. Okay, you're going to receive one-on-one mentoring and group mentoring, accountability, focused attention, support, guidance, community with like-minded women, encouragement, and transformational heart work. So if you want to know more, you want to know like each week what's going to happen, all that good stuff, go to fearlessmujer.com and click on Fearless Mujer Mastermind. You will see it right there. After the six weeks, you'll have learned how to renew your mind, how to revamp the woman you are, how to reignite the woman you are, how to boldly take authority of your story, who you are at your core, and how to give yourself permission to be the woman God intends for you to be, and more. So girl, if you're ready, 
to free yourself from the worry of what others think. You're ready to free yourself from feeling like you're not good enough. And you're ready to pursue that thing on your heart with boldness. I invite you to come join me. So, all right, take a listen to this workshop. And then if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, schedule your cafecito call or send me a DM on IG at the Fearless Mujer Podcast. All right, girl, God bless you. Alrighty. So let's talk about the confident woman. I I dived in a little bit into confidence yesterday, but I want to talk a little bit more about this. So um, being a confident woman, it doesn't mean that you're, you're perfect, right? A confident woman knows her strengths and her weaknesses. She knows who she is at her core, right? She makes her decisions based on the life that she wants to create. And the first step to becoming a confident woman is giving yourself the permission to be her. The second step to becoming a confident woman is by doing the hard things that other women are not willing to do. So the truth is that you must love yourself enough to go through a healing and transformation journey. By removing the labels you carry, recognizing the limiting beliefs that you've had, rewriting the lies you've been believing and magnifying your gifts, you'll be able to step into a new confidence and you won't compare yourself to others. And you must continue to implement these things daily because in time it just becomes natural. So by doing this, you'll empower yourself to be the confident woman that you've been created to be. Being a confident woman means that you know who you are at your core. And the definition of core is the central most important part of something. So knowing your core self is who you are authentically, your values, your inner wisdom, your personality, right? It's important to understand your core self because it's going to help you build healthy boundaries. I've said this before, right? Not knowing who you are at your core gets frustrating. You start to listen to the voice of others instead of your own. You keep wanting and waiting for others to validate you so that you can actually start pursuing what's been on your heart to pursue. So understanding your core self gives you clarity about who you are. And it also helps you step into a new boldness that you may not have had before. And even when you don't feel confident, you have to keep showing up and keep practicing confidence. The more that you do this, the more that you will become the confident woman. I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Are you comparing yourself to other women? Why aren't you going from the place of wanting to pursue your dream or that thing that God has put on your heart to actually starting to pursue it, to actually starting to do it? I'm going to introduce you to these two chicas. By the way, I don't know them. They're friends I made on Canva. So Claudia and Jackie actually know each other. They're not really friends, but they went to school together, so they're familiar with each other. Claudia is a mom. She has a part-time job as a receptionist, and she also goes to school. But she keeps feeling like there's more for her to do. She has this desire to start her own jewelry company. She doesn't like to post about the things she's wanting to do because she worries a lot about what others think. Claudia used to do direct sales. And one time she posted about her direct sales business and someone made a comment that she should get a real job. The things others say to Claudia makes her change her mind because she waits for others to validate what she's doing. She spends hours researching how to design jewelry, what paperwork to file and how to shop and how to have an Etsy shop. Claudia has good days, especially when she just got done listening to a motivational speaker um, or listening to a podcast that she really loves, right? When she does that, she finds the courage to start something and even writes down her ideas. So she finds the courage to like explore this idea of having, you know, her own company that only lasts like two days though. 
because she starts to look for val validation from others. The issue isn't what she wants to do. She has a passion for helping women look beautiful, right? The issue is that she's waiting for someone to tell her that it's okay to do what she wants to do. She's trying to make everybody else happy. She stalks Jackie on social media because Jackie always seems happy and confident about what she's doing. And Jackie's always showing up. She's a girl you see that's always showing up. She started her own boutique company, her own boutique business two years ago. She shares her clothing and her jewelry all over social media. And she even does tutorials for women on how they can be stylish on a budget. But what Claudia doesn't know about Jackie is that Jackie wasn't always confident. She just kept showing up. What's happening is that Claudia is comparing herself with Jackie. Comparison is a trap. And it goes back to why it's important that you renew your mind. Claudia and Jackie were fictional women. But the truth is that you may have seen a little of yourself in these women. While Claudia kept waiting for others, Jackie kept showing up, right? While she kept waiting for someone to validate her idea or her decisions, Jackie just kept showing up. And notice that Jackie was helping women by teaching them how they could be stylish on a budget. So she was really coming from a place of serving others. When you serve others and you keep showing up, you don't have time to compare yourself. You don't have time to worry about what so-and-so is doing. And you begin to understand a little bit more about who you are at your core. And that leads to walking in a new confidence. You see, all that comparison does is distract you from pursuing your dreams and stepping into your God-given purpose. So why aren't more women pursuing their dreams or what God has placed on their heart? Part of it is because of past mistakes, abuse, or trauma. Many women live their life feeling purposeless and asking, why am I here? They go on living deeply wounded because of what others may have done or said to them. And they miss out on pursuing their dreams and living the life that God intended for them to live. Have you ever felt like there was more for you, but you just couldn't grasp exactly what the more was? That's because your creator has filled you with purpose. And when you're not living out your passions and operating in your gifts, you become frustrated and confused. See, what you're passionate reveals a lot about what you're meant to do. So what do you want to be known for? Who do you want to be? The beauty of life is that we get to choose what direction our life goes in. You get to give yourself the permission to be who you want to be. When people see you or think of you, what do you want them to see? Who, what do you want them to like think about? when you come to mind. So as I said, what you're passionate about reveals a lot about what you're meant to do. And your stories are also important, right? No one can take your message, okay? Your stories and your life experiences and even your mistakes can become your message and your message becomes your superpower. No one can take your message, nobody, because it's yours. Your stories, even the painful ones and your life experiences are yours and you have authority over these things and you have authority over your message. Focus on what you're passionate about. 
more than likely, that's what God has placed on your heart. That's the dream. Don't be scared of it. Be confident in yourself and your strengths and start dreaming about who you want to be and what you want to be known for. Now, I'm going to jump on to the next slide. And I want to talk to you about this amazing six-week mastermind. The Fearless Mujer six-week mastermind. Be free from mind junk, the same as this workshop, the name of this workshop. It's a unique mastermind where you will be encouraged, affirmed, and supported every step of the way. It's a space for you to connect with like-minded women without judgment. You'll be mentored with authenticity and, and, oh, excuse me, and compassion. It's for the mujer who desires to believe in herself and to be free to finally pursue her dreams. If you have ever asked yourself, why am I really here? You feel like you were made for more, but you don't have clarity about what direction to go in. You've been struggling with trying all the things, but never truly being satisfied. You read the empowering books, you listen to the motivational speakers, but you still feel stuck. And you worry a lot about what others think if you start pursuing that thing on your heart. You see, I was in the same place. I tried different jobs and all the things, hoping that I would find my place where I was meant to lead. But instead, I just felt ashamed that I couldn't figure it out. And I felt like I wasn't good enough. And I too listened to the motivational speakers and I still felt stuck, right? But it wasn't until I began to remove the mind junk that things really began to change. And then I was free to finally be able to pursue my dreams, to pursue my passions. And I was able to believe in myself. God placed this on my heart. And I would love to guide you and mentor you so that you can identify the lies and the limiting beliefs that have you feeling like you're stuck. You'll receive group and one-on-one -on -one mentoring, accountability, focused attention, support, guidance, a community of like-minded women, encouragement, transformation, and you'll do the heart work. Once, uh, once you're done after the six weeks, you'll have known how to renew your mind, how to revamp the woman you are, how to reignite the woman you are, how to boldly take authority of your story. You'll know who you are at your core and you'll give yourself the permission to be the woman God intends for you to be and so much more. And if you feel like you need more support, we can talk more about how I can continue to help you. So when does this start? This mastermind starts on May 24th and it ends on July 2nd. You can see here uh, when we meet, right? If you're ready to free yourself want from the worry of what others think, if you're ready to free yourself from feeling like you're not good enough, if you are ready to pursue that thing on your heart with boldness, if you're ready to reignite the mujer that you are and start believing in yourself, and you're ready to pursue your God-given purpose and ready to do the hard work of hard work, this is open for you. And this is exclusively open to eight women so that there can be more intimacy and so that you can have more focus, support, and attention. So if this is resonating with you, let's talk. I would love to answer your questions. If you're ready to revamp the woman you are, I have a testimonial right here uh, from a client who just got done with the um, last mentoring mastermind. And you know what? I pray for every woman that God brings my way that God would use me to really give them that clarity and really understand that, man, God has created you for more, right? So 
I love when women are able to see that there is more for, for them. And I'll read her testimonial. It says, through this mastermind, I learned there is purpose in my pain. God can use me to help others who have the same experiences as me. I always had an idea of how I could help other women who, like me, struggled with low self-esteem, lacked confidence, or felt like they themselves didn't have value. I never pursued this idea because it sounded crazy and impossible. I thought to myself, this can't be from God through this program and the podcast of Fearless Mujer. God showed me it's not a crazy idea. My desire of helping a specific group of women was confirmed through this mastermind program. I feel empowered to work on what God has called me to do. Rewriting the lies on paper was such an impact. Seeing what God thought of me was an eye opener. You guys, I'm excited and I pray that you understand that your dream, your idea, your feeling of feeling like you're made for more is not crazy at all. So if you want to know more, I actually encourage you whether, you know, if you're like, well, I don't know, I'm just curious, or yes, I want to do this, go to fearlessmujer.com and click on Fearless Mujer Masterminds. And it's going to take you to another page with more detailed information. And on there, you can click on the link to schedule a cafecito call with me today, starting today. Enrollment is open today, right now, and it ends on May 17th. If you're excited and you know that this is for you, then girl, don't wait. Hey girl, thanks so much for joining me. It was such a pleasure hanging out with you. If this episode inspired you and empowered you, share it with the women in your life so that they can be empowered too. And could I ask you for a quick favor? It would mean the world to me if you left me a review and subscribed. That way you never miss an episode. And if you want to connect with me, I'm on Instagram at the Fearless Mujer Podcast. You can also come join the private Facebook group. Fearless Mujeres is a sisterhood and community where you're going to be empowered and inspired. And you'll find the link to that group in the show notes. And girl, let me ask you a quick question. Have you been feeling like you're not walking in your true purpose? If you're looking for guidance and clarity and support, book a free 20 minute clarity call with me. We can focus on the things that are holding you back from really walking and stepping into your God given purpose. And girl, before you go, if you want to screenshot this episode and share it to your Instagram, Facebook, that would be pretty cool. All right, girl, until next time, God bless.